hushed tones. ASMR. Okay, well, thank you very much for coming to the clinic today. How are you? Very good. Well, my name is Dr. Tones and I'll be taking care of you today. Now, it says here that you are in for a cranial nerve examination, is that correct? Okay, wonderful. Well, before we begin, I might just check a few items with you, seeing as this is your first trip here with us. Um, firstly, your full name, please. Lovely. And your date of birth? Okay, and can I check, do you smoke at all? Very good. And lastly, do you wear any glasses or any vision aids? No. Okay. Lovely, well. First, what I'm just going to do is to have a little quick inspection of you, just by eyesight. And really, all I'm really looking for is any sign of muscle weakness. It looks like you're doing pretty good. Okay, no facial droop. Do you suffer from any tremors at all? Okay. And I would also just like to check the back of your neck, so please excuse me. Okay. All right. Lovely, thank you very much. All right, so have you ever had a cranial nerve examination before? Okay, well, we're going to be checking for the 12 nerves and we will start off with number one. The first nerve that we will be checking today is your olfactory nerve and this is in charge of your sense of smell. So I am going to hold up a few items and I would just like you to close your eyes for me. Thank you. And I am just going to Put this right under your nose and you just tell me what you think you can smell. I'm going to start off with just one that's a little bit tricky. What can you smell? Very good, it's vanilla. Really is one of my favorite candle smells. Okay, and now if you could close your uh, right nostril, please. Thank you. And what can you smell here? Very good. I really do like these very sweet scents, as you can tell. Okay. And can you close the other nostril, please? Thank you. And can you tell me what can you smell now? Yes, it is indeed a flower, a lovely rose. And I have one more scent for you. And if you could tell me, what can you smell? Yes. All right. Good old coffee. <laughs> All right, and that's very simple and easy for the first nerve. So now for the second cranial nerve, it's the optic nerve. It's the one that most people have heard of. And we are going to be testing that. So first off, I just want to know, am I clear for you? Is anything blurred or out of focus? Okay, and now could you pick a point over there and tell me anything far away? Is anything over there blurred or out of focus? Okay, good, good signs. Okay, and the second part of the test for this nerve is using a Snellen chart. Now, I'm sure you might have seen these before if you've been for any regular eye exam. So, I'm just going to hold this one up here. Now, I want you to tell me which line you can read with both eyes. Okay, and now could you cover your left eye, please? Okay, and which line can you read now perfectly? Okay, and cover the other eye. Same one, excellent. Okay, now could you please read me that line? Excellent. 
excellent. And could you cover the other eye? And read me the line, please. Lovely. Thank you so much. Okay, we're now going to test your field of vision. So if you could just stare right here at my nose. And I'm going to hold my fingers just up here. And I would like you to tell me which ones are wiggling. Okay, are you ready? Very good. All right. <laughs> Very good at this. Very good. And one more check. Lovely. Well done. Okay, so if you could please cover your left eye, and I'm going to hold my fingers up here out of focus, and as I bring them in, I want you to let me know as soon as you can see them, okay? Lovely, and again. Lovely, and again. Mm-hmm. Very good. And if you could cover your other eye now, please. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. One more time. So now I'm going to test your blind spots, everybody has them, and basically you're going to see this pen disappear and then reappear. And I would like you to tell me when it does those things. So if you could just stare here at the end of the pen please, and if you could cover your eye, thank you, and tell me when it disappears. Okay, and now tell me when it reappears. Okay, and your other eye, please. Thank you. And when it disappears, and when it reappears. Okay, one more time with the other eye. Tell me when it disappears. Mm -hmm. And now when it reappears. Thank you so much. So now we're going to test your pupillary light reflex. So I'm just going to cover one eye right here. And I'm going to shine this light into your eye. Please try not to blink, okay? Okay. And now we're going to do the other eye. Okay, and now looking at both eyes, just stare straight at me. Thank you so much. Now we will test your third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves. These are to do with vision of movement. So all I'm going to do is again have you stare here at the end of my pen and I just want you to follow this with your eyes, not with your head. So keep your head completely still and just move your eyes to follow the tip of this. Okay? Are you ready? Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. 
Very good. Lovely. Okay. And now we'll just do the same test, but this time with my finger. So if you could please stare here. Okay, make sure not to move your head at all. And tip of this finger. Very good. Okay, and now let's have a little go at depth. So if you could please look at the wall behind me. Okay. And now stare at my finger. Okay. Please look at the wall behind me. And now stare at my finger. Okay. Now over here, please. Stare at the wall behind me. And then at my finger. Okay, great. And one more time at the wall behind me. And then at my finger. Excellent. So we'll increase the depth a little bit. If you could look at the wall behind me again. And I'll look right here. And then at the wall behind me. And now right here. And look at the wall behind me. And right here. The wall behind me. And right here. Very good indeed. And now for the last part of this test, I would like you to stare here again at the tip of my pen. And I'm going to move this towards your face. So just keep staring at it and let me know when it gets a little bit blurry. Okay? Mm -hmm. And again. And again. Okay. And any of this, did you have any double vision at all? No double vision? Okay. The fifth nerve controls the sensory supply to your face. So what I'm going to do is to use this cotton bud here and to use the end of this plastic prong here. And I'm going to apply these to different areas of your face. Onto your forehead, onto your cheek, and then onto your jaw on both sides. And obviously they should feel very different and they should also feel the same on all of the points per item. So I'm just going to test that, okay? All right, so touch to the forehead and the other side, and on the cheek and the other side and the jaw and the other side. Did any of those feel any different? Did they feel the same all over? One more time, the forehead, the cheek, and the jaw on your left side. And now the forehead, the cheek, and the jaw on this side. Okay, and they all felt soft? Okay. So now we have this item, forehead, on both sides, cheek, both sides, jaw. Okay, how about that? All right, so just one more time. Forehead, cheek, and the jaw. Forehead, cheek, and the jaw. Thank you. We're also going to check the corneal reflexes. This isn't always a fun bit for everybody, but all we're going to do is have you look to one side and I'm going to use this soft cotton bud just to touch barely the side of your eye, okay? So if you could look over onto this side, please. I'm just going to touch right here. Good. And if you could look to this side, please. I'm just going to touch. Thank you. Yes, we're looking for you to blink both eyes at the same time. And you did. Now this nerve also controls the muscles for mastication, so I just want to check your jawline very quickly. And so what I'd like you to do is just to clench your teeth, and I'm going to feel around your jaw, 
and around your temples. So if you could do that for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And up here. Okay, fantastic. We're also going to test your jaw jerk reflex and all I'm going to do here is place my thumb right here and then hit and see whether you have the correct reflex response. So if you could just open your mouth just a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm just placing my thumb here and excellent. We'll now test the rest of your muscles in your face. So if you could just lift your eyebrows for me and wrinkle them. Just like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, now if you could just hold that for me. Okay, wonderful. Now if you could squint at me, frown. Mm-hmm. Hold that for me, please. Yes, lovely. Okay, and then if you could close your eyes as well. Excellent. Now if you could show me your upper and lower teeth. Okay, and then if you could just smile normally. Okay, puff out your cheeks please. Okay, and if you could do that again, I'm just going to very lightly tap them. Thank you very much. Now the test for the eighth cranial nerve is a hearing test. So I will be wanting you to cover one ear and then the other. And I am going to be saying letters and numbers in the open ear. And you will just tell me afterwards whether or not you were able to hear them clearly. Is that okay? All right, so first, if you could cover this ear for me, you're right. And I'm just going to get up and we will begin the hearing test. Okay, how was that? All right, now we'll do it with your other ear. So if you could close this one with your hand over it for me. Thank you very much. All right, did you have any problems with hearing any of those? Were there any letters or words, sorry, letters or numbers that you found particularly difficult to hear? Okay, well, that's great news. 
Okay, for the 9th, 10th and 12th nerve, it's a very easy test. If you could just open your mouth. Okay, I'm just going to look inside. Alright, and now if you could just say R for me. Okay, and now if you could stick out your tongue and move it to the left and to the right, to the left again and to the right. Wonderful. And finally, we will do the test for the 11th cranial nerve. So what I want you to do is just shrug your shoulders and keep them up and I'm going to press down on them and I would like you to resist, please. So if you could do that. Very good. And I'm going to try and push your face this way and I would like you to resist. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and push your head the other way. Try and resist. Okay. Well, that is the end of the test. Um, I hope you felt comfortable throughout the whole thing and that nothing felt uncomfortable for you. I can already tell you that you really shouldn't be worried about these results. I think that we will probably be able to give you some good news. But of course, I'm going to confirm this with a letter that we'll be sending to you in two to three days. Now, is there anything else that you would like to ask me or know about? Okay, well that's great. As I said, two to three days and you should have the official confirmed results. But really, I don't think you have anything to worry about. All right, well is there anything else I can help you with today? Okay, well then I hope that you have a wonderful day and really go out and enjoy the sunshine. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon perhaps. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much. Bye-bye.